What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Bowser Jr. for Super Mario. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the top edge of the muzzle. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up toward the top. Let's round this out and then bring that down towards the right, towards the same height. Now I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw two curves. One on the left going up and down. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing for the nostrils. Now from here, we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's start back over on the left, bend this down in the middle, and then curve that up towards the right. From the outside of the mouth, we're gonna step in, draw a half circle. We're gonna come down towards the bottom, and then bend that back up. Let's trace this along the inside for the tongue. And then on the top right, we're gonna draw a small V for the tooth. Let's trace the bottom edge of the mouth. Over on the left, come down, across, and then back up. Now you want to tuck the cheeks in behind the top of the muzzle and the chin. So we're going to start on the left side and go up, come all the way around, and just tuck that in towards the side. Let's line this up over on the right. We go up, come all the way around, and then we'll tuck that in. Now I'm going to draw two small circles in this area for the eyes. So I'll start on the left, go all the way around and up. Line that up on the right. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top of each eye. And then we'll fill the bottom area in black. Now you want to place the eyebrows on top of the eyes, leaving a gap in the center. Let's start on top of the muzzle on the left. I'm just going to bend this out and then up. Let's line this up on the right, going out and up towards the same height. Let's add a fur texture along the end. Curve this down and in with a short line. Step back up, curve around, come down on top of the eye and then in towards the inside point. Now we're gonna draw a half circle on the top of the head going in behind the eyebrows. Let's start on the left side of the cheek. Curve this up, bend that in. Continue in the middle, going around. Come down towards the right. And continue down towards the right side. Now in the center of the head, we're gonna draw that band and the hair. So let's start on the left side, curve this up and then down. Now on the top right side, add some hair going up and then out, we'll add a fold, coming in and then down. Let's add a larger point along this curve, go up and over. Let's pull this across towards the left, come around and then in. Let's add one more point, we're gonna step up, then it's out and up, come around the side and then back in. Let's add those two small horns on the side of the head. From the base of the eyebrow, go up and out with a curve, come down and back in. And then along the bottom, add a small curve for the trim. Now we're gonna tuck that large napkin in underneath the chin. Let's start over on the left side, curve this out, round up the side, pull that in. And that's gonna bend that down towards the bottom. Let's bend this out Cross the right, go up, and tuck this in underneath the head. Now along the top, we're gonna to stretch the arms out towards the side. So we start from the cheeks, let's bend the wrist, going around and then down towards the bottom of the arms. Now from the bottom, we wanna draw a straight line coming in, but we're not gonna go all the way. We wanna leave a gap along the side. Let's wrap that thick metal cuff around the wrist. From this point, we're gonna step down, curve around the bottom, go up and then in behind the cheeks. From the bottom of this curve, draw a straight angle line going up. And it's gonna follow this curve going around, come in, draw a straight line going in behind the cheek. Now from the top of the cuff, we're gonna curl around the thumb. We're gonna go up, bend this out, round up the tip of the thumb, and bend that back in. From the 
the bottom of the thumb, let's add the palm. Coming down and in with a short curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, to round up the thumb, come in, then we'll add the palm. Now you want to wrap three fingers along the outside. Let's start from the top of the thumb, start by going up, and then bending that down with a large half oval. From the bottom, draw another oval going around and up under the thumb, and then we'll do that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that larger half oval first. Draw the second one going up under the thumb, and then we'll add one more. From the bottom of that last finger, curl the palm, coming down and in underneath the cuff. You want to leave a little overlap along the bottom. Now, along that index finger, we're going to add a fold, going up and out from the thumb. Now, with this character, we're going to place the left leg on the ground and the right leg up in the air. So, from the bottom of the arm, we're going to step up, it's going to curl the body, going around, and then bend that in towards the hip. Now, on the right side, we're only going to go halfway, going out and then down to right about there. On the left side, let's step up and draw the leg. We're going to go out, round this out, and then bend that in. Now from the base of the leg, we're going to step in and up, draw the bottom of the body, going out and then up with a short curve. Step in, draw the heel, coming in and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Now you want to round out the bottom of the foot, work our way towards the first claw, going up on the end, bend this up and in. Let's layer two more toes in behind. From the tip, we're going to step up, bend this out and up, go up and in. Let's do that one more time, and then bend this up and in underneath the leg. Let's separate each of the claws with a curve along the tip of each toe. Now, along the bottom edge of the body, we're going to leave a small gap for the tail. Let's move up, draw the back of the leg, coming down and then out towards the heel. Let's go back to the top of the leg, step down, just curve this down and in, aiming towards this point, and then we'll layer the tail in behind. Starting from the inside of the heel, curve the tail coming down and out towards the right. I'm just going to tuck this up and in towards the top. Now let's go back to the heel and draw the pad for the foot. We'll draw an oval going up in an angle, round this out, and then come back down towards the heel. From the top of this pad, we're going to step up, draw the first toe, going up, then out, bend this down, and then in. Let's layer two more toes along the side. Stepping down, go up and out, come down and in. Let's do that one more time. I'm just going to pull this in towards the bottom of that pad. Let's separate each of the claws with that curve. Now I'm going to go back to the side of the body and draw the leg going up and then down on top of the foot. So we're going to step in, curve this up, round up the leg, and then come down. Now along the side of the body, we're going to draw the edge of the shell. Underneath the arm, let's step out, follow the curve of the body, coming around and in, do the same thing on the right. Let's add two spikes along the side. Bend this out and down, bend this down and in. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. We're just going to tuck this in behind the leg. Along the base of that spike, we're going to add that trim. Now this napkin gets pulled in behind the head, so we're going to draw the ends along the side of the cheek. Let's start on the left. Bend this out, and then up, come down and in, then bend that back down in behind the cheek. Let's go over towards the right side, bend this up and out, in and down, and then back in. Now I'm just going to add a fold along the top of the ends. Now I'm going to draw two more folds underneath the chin, going out and then down. And we'll draw that large mouth in the center of the napkin. Let's we'll start on the top left. I'm just going to bend this down in the middle and go up towards the right. Now on the ends, I'm just going to round this out, come down and in towards the middle, towards the bottom. Go to the top right and do the same thing. Round this out and then pulling that in. Let's trace this shape along the inside. So I'll start back on the top, round the end, 
ones coming in toward the middle. And I add four large fangs along the top. So we'll start on the left, come down, and then up. And then we'll repeat this three more times going out towards the right. And let's add three more teeth along the bottom pointing up in between these gaps. So we'll start on the left, going up and then down. We'll add two more. Let's sign our artwork and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Bowser Jr. from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.